everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another book haul for you guys. It has been quite a while since I did last book haul. I think it was at the beginning of October of last year, so it has been quite a while and I acquired a lot of books since then. So these are going to be all the books I acquired in the middle to late October to up until like Monday, so beginning of January. I have a total of about 15 books here, so I'm not going to go into too much details on the summary of each one of these books. Um, I'll just give you guys a few little things about it, and that's about it. So, yeah, the first book I have here, I can't remember if I put in my last book haul or not, and that book is Children of Eden by Joey Gasaba. If you guys have seen my uh, first book signing and meet and greet experience video, which I'll link down below, you would know I met Joey Gasaba in uh, early October on his book tour for this book. This is actually his second book, and it's the first, and I believe it's going to be a series. It's a young adult dystopian novel. And that's what really intrigued me besides who the author was <laughs> right away. So I'm like, I gotta get this book. I gotta go to the tour. And when it came to Boston, and yeah, and uh, Joey Garcepa is a YouTuber here on YouTube. If you guys have never checked his channel, I will link it in the description box below. He's a funny, really funny guy. He's very sweet, and I love watching his videos. I watch them as often as I can, and I highly, highly recommend you check out both of his books. His first book, In Real Life, which is his memoir, was released in 2015. So I would get that first and then check this one out. I haven't read it yet, but I'm planning on reading it this month. The next book I have here is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This is another young adult dystopian novel. You're going to see that as a trend in this haul. I didn't realize until I was putting all the books together that... There's quite a few diver uh, dystopian novels. Um, this is a another pretty well-known series. A lot of people either really like it or really don't like it. I've heard kind of mixed reviews about it, but I want to check it out for myself. The movies actually look really, really good. I haven't seen them at all, uh, but heard really good things about the movies. So I'm hoping to read this and see what it's, I, if I like it at all. <laughs> The next book I have here is by one of my favorite authors, and that is The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. This is J.K. Rowling's uh, adult fiction novel, um, and she has released other books since uh, Harry Potter ended, I believe, besides this one. I think she has another series that came out. I think it's under a pen name. I'm not quite sure. But again, this is a like mystery thriller kind of book, and it sounded really cool, so I thought I would check it out. I have, her, have heard mixed reviews about it but I really want to check it out because it's J.K. Rowling. I mean, I love J.K. Rowling. <laughs> the next book was sent to me for review by the author, and this book is Revenants by the, uh, Revenants, the Odyssey Home by Scott Kaufman. Like I said, this was sent to me for review by the author, so thank you so much to Scott. And he did actually sign it for me, so that was very, very nice of him. Let me go see if I can find it. Here it is. So he did sign it. And it was very nice of him. This is a historical fiction novel, I believe. And it sounded really cool. It's, I think it's an Odyssey retelling. Um, I think the Odyssey is like a poem by, I believe it's the poet is Homer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it sounded really cool the way uh, the author described it to me. So I thought I would check it out for myself. The next book was uh, gave, given to me by my uncle for Christmas, and that book is Earthsea, A Wizard of Earthsea, book one, and this is a, oh, uh, it's by Ursula K. Le Guin, I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong, this is a middle grade novel, it's um, kind of similar to Harry Potter from what my uncle told me, so I was like, give me it, <laughs> like I knew I had to have it, because anything that's similar to Harry Potter, you know I'm going to read it, because Obviously, I love Harry Potter. Um, I hadn't heard this series before, so I'm not sure what to think of it, but I'll check it out and see what I think. The next book was also sent to me for a review by the author, and that book is Focusing Emptiness, A Mythopoetic Journey to the Lost Child by Michael P. Staples. This is actually a non-fiction novel, but it, the way the author said it, um, that it was written it was could be similar to a fiction novel, so that sounded really cool to me. And again, the author sent me to the, uh, this book for review, so thank you so much to Michael. And he also signed this book as well. Right there. So thank you again to Michael for sending me this. 
The next book is on my January TBR for this month, and that book is Red Queen by Victoria A. Yard. This is another young adult dystopian novel, um, and I've heard pretty mixed reviews about the series. I own the first and the second book in the series, so hopefully I will like it because I love young adult dystopian. Um, so it sound, the premise sounds really, really cool from what I read on the back, um, but obviously there's pretty mixed reviews about it, so I'm not quite sure what to think, but hopefully I'll enjoy it. <laughs> The next book is a sequel to a book I already own, and that book is The Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. This is book two in the A Court of Thorns and Roses. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, a Court of Thorns and Roses is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I love Beauty and the Beast, so that sounded right up my alley. I read Sarah J. Maas's Throne of Glass series last year. If you guys have seen my reviews of those, I'll link those in the description box below. I love those, and I'm hoping to love these as well. The next two books are sequels to another book I own and I love. And those books are Insurgent and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. This is the second and the third book in the Divergent trilogy. I read Divergent and, and <laughs> Insurgent back in November, I believe. Um, I have reviews for those on my blog. Like I said, I have uh, I will have them linked in the description box below. If you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on them, I will have a video of soon on reviewing all these books. And I have, like I said, I've read Insurgent, but I have not read Allegiant, so please don't spoil me in the comments below. It would really, really suck. I know there's something major at the ending, um, but I don't know what it is yet, so hopefully I will get to Allegiant probably this month, if not next month, and hopefully I'll like it. And the last three books I have here on for this haul are also part of a series, and these are the first three books in the... Twisted Tale series, so these are actually fairy tale retellings, but they have a twist to them. So the first book is A Whole New World, um, and this is a Aladdin retelling. The second book is Once Upon a Dream, which is a Sleepy Beauty retelling. And the third book is As Old as Time, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. These are all by Liz Braswell. I was able to receive these as gifts from my cousin, for Christmas, and they are all, like I said, all retellings of fairy tales, but they have a twist, and it kind of signed right up my alley, because there's this show, if you guys have heard of it, it's called Once Upon a Time, which is also kind of a retelling of fairy tales, and that's my favorite TV show at the moment, so I think that's why my cousin uh, said I would probably like these books, and hopefully I will have a whole new world on my TBR for this month, and yeah, hopefully I'll get to it. So that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. If you are, guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have all my social media links linked in the description box below. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I also have my website linked in the description box below if you guys want to hear my thoughts on any reviews I have yet to put up here on the channel. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!